G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Sean and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a quick guide on how to set up your NAS from Synology as a media server. So the first thing we need to do uh, in order to set up our NAS as a media server is we need to open up our web browser and we need to go ahead and log in and install an application called Video Station. So to get the Video Station application, you'll need to hit up the main menu and then go to Package Center. And in the multimedia section on the left hand side, you'll see an application called Video Station. So this is made by Synology and you'll need to install that. Um, obviously I've already installed it, so that's why it's given me the option to open here. Um, and then it should appear on your, on your desktop. Once you've got the Video Station uh, application installed, the next step is to create some folders. So these folders will be, a, I guess, in your root directory, and this will be where Video Station will go to look for your TV shows and your movies. So to do that, we'll need to open up File Station. And so I've got here my NAS, obviously, and I've got all of the folders that I have within it. And I've created a new folder here called Video. So within video, we have movie and TV. So these are the two categories that I obviously watch, movies and TV shows, which will probably be like what you'll do yourself. You might even add a third, something like maybe home videos or um, work videos or whatever you want to call it. So once you've created the video folder, so you can right click and just go create folder to do that. You can then go ahead and create two new folders or three new folders or however many folders you want within that. Um, I've obviously just done the two here, movies and TV. And then, for example, with the movie folder, I've just basically copied and pasted my movie files into that folder. Same goes for TV, but slightly different. I've created uh, different folders here for the different TV shows that I watch, but then the same thing applies. I've gone ahead and copied and pasted the video files into the, uh, the right show, the right season, and so forth. So now that we've got the movie files and the TV files there, the next step is to open up the video station software. So we're going to go ahead and click on video station, which should launch it into a new tab. And then on the left hand side here we have, you can see the library. We've got movie, TV show, home video and recording. This is something that video station creates on its own. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to tell the video station software where the files are for movies and for TV shows and so forth. So to start with, we'll do movie and we'll go ahead and we'll say click here to create index folders for your videos. So we'll click on that, opens up a little settings dialog box and we've got movie, TV show and home video. So if you go back and remember at the file station, we created movie and TV shows and we've got here movie and TV shows. So it's trying to do some of the work for us. So what we do now is click on movie, click on the little folder on the right hand side. And now it's asking us to select the folder that references movies. So we click select, we navigate down to video, we click on movie and we press select and we press OK. And then we go ahead and we do the same thing for TV shows. Click on TV, click on the folder, click the folder that you want to select. So we go to video, go to TV, press select, press OK, and it's going to start indexing that folder as well. So we can press OK now. And after a while, what you'll start to see is those TV shows and movies eventually show up um, in the dashboard here. So we can obviously, we've got two videos here, um, and you can actually see that it's actually grabbed some of the metadata for those uh, movies as well. Same goes with TV shows. It will actually go ahead and grab the thumbnails from like a database online, um, so that way you also get like a visual um, representation of all the different TV shows and movies that you have. Obviously, if they're you know, home videos or home recordings or work videos that you've created um, on your own camera, for example, you won't get that information, but for TV shows and movies, you will. You will. So that's pretty much it as far as the configuration side from the NAS. Um, so the next step will be going ahead and I'll show you how to get um, the video station software on your phone or on your Apple TV and how to play back those files. Alright, so now that we've got the video station software installed 
on the NAS, we can go ahead and install it on our iPhone so we can watch our movies on TV shows on our iPhone as well. So in order to do that, what we need to do is go into the App Store and we'll need to go ahead and search um, for the application. So the application is called DS Video. So I'll just do that and go ahead and install the application. Now obviously again, I've already installed it. So I'll just press open and it's gonna ask you to log in. So you put in all your credentials that you should already have when you set up your NAS and you log in. And once it logs you in, hopefully what we should see is our TV shows and our movies that we added before. Awesome, so what we can see here is our movies on the left hand side. And we can click those little three lines and we can see our TV shows as well. So if I go ahead now and go into any one of these TV shows and then press play, it will play obviously on my iPhone. Um, one of the other cool things about the application is that it will give you um, like the description, it grabs that from like an online database um, and fills that out all for you as well. So it's a really nice experience. So now that I've got it on the iPhone, I'll also go ahead and show you how to get it working on a Apple TV. All right, so now that we've got the uh, NAS set up and working with Video Station and we've got it working uh, successfully with the iPhone, um, one of the other cool things is that there's an application for your Apple TV. So if you have an Apple TV fourth generation or later, uh, you can go ahead and go to the App Store. So I'll just go ahead and do this for you now. You can do a search for DS Video. So I've actually already done that search for you. Um, and you'll see here in red, you've got the DS Video icon, the same as what's on the iPhone and on the NAS. So we'll click DS Video and we'll open that one up and we'll click open and when we click open it's going to ask us to log in so you go ahead and log in with your normal login credentials. I've already done that so I'll click open and here we can see we've got the TV shows and movies which are on the NAS. So if I was to navigate to one of the shows, click on that, go down to an episode and press play. So I won't press play obviously um, for copyright reasons. Um, I don't want to get in trouble for that kind of stuff, but we can see here that we've got the videos that we've put onto the NAS and we're watching them on our Apple TV uh, in the living room. So really cool stuff. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was uh, of some use to you guys who have NAS devices who want to get more out of them. Um, if you have any comments or questions about my setup or about this video, please be sure to leave them down below and subscribe to see more videos like this. Cheers.